Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, April 7th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise. Because He is worthy of your praise. He is worthy of your worship. He is worthy of your thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians. Chapter number 1 and it's verse number 3. Scripture says, Remember with remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father. Friends, we're studying these verses here because we're seeing some things that that the church there at Thessalonica was doing that enabled them to become a a, a lighthouse, an example of to all those people that was in the country surrounding them. And these things that they did that Paul is commending them for is things that you and I need to make sure that that we're doing as well, that we're taking part in as well. And that's 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 what we need to do is become a lighthouse. And we studied already your work of faith, that's putting your faith into action. We did two days on that we studied in there. And today I want us to look at the second one that Paul mentions, the labor of love. The labor of love. This is something you do above and beyond your work of faith. Your faith must be put into action. This is what you do above and beyond that. Getting back to the illustration that James used yesterday, In James chapter 2, he says here in verse number 15 and 16, James says, If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be you warmed and filled, notwithstanding you give not those things which are needful to the body, what is the profit? James is challenging his readers here that their faith must be put into action. The work of faith or doing works in this example would be that if you had clothes or food, you would give them to that person that didn't have any clothes or food. And you would be doing a work of faith. Your faith is put into action. You were able to do something to help meet their needs. The labor of love, on the other hand, would be if you had the food supply there and instead of just giving them food... You made them a meal with leftovers for the next day. That would be a labor of love. Do you understand where I'm going with that? I hope we do. Another example of a labor of love is found in the book of Philippians, chapter number 4. Paul, of course, was a missionary. We know that. He did several missionary journeys and several of these churches that we read these letters to in the New Testament today was churches that was founded by Paul or that Paul helped build or Paul encouraged as he traveled on his missionary journeys. And this church at Philippi was a church that that also blessed Paul. And we read in chapter 4, starting in verse number 15, Paul says, Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica ye sent once again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all in abound. I am full, having received of a... a, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable and well-pleasing to God. 
This church, we don't know what it is. Paul didn't mention here what his gift was. I believe it was probably a financial gift, but it could have been it could have been other things as well. And Paul says that that these things were a sweet smell to God. A sweet smelling aroma to God because it was a labor of love. So yesterday I challenged you and the day before I challenged you to put your faith into action. Today I want to challenge you to think of what you could do that would be above and beyond what your works of faith would be. Something that you could do for somebody that would be a true labor of love. Ask God to give you some ideas. Maybe seek some ideas from your pastor or some other Christian friends. But allow God to lead you and do for somebody something beyond just your works. Something that would show true love. The love of God to somebody. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word. And allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.